What's going on YouTube? Closer Look Official back with another video. So on Monday this week, headlines reported that a Rolex store in Soho, New York was looted and had around $2.4 million worth of watches stolen. The news quickly went viral and included in a lot of the reports alongside videos were quotes from various police sources. Now one of these quotes in particular, the one that led to these headlines, is believed to have come from an officer who in the aftermath of the drama said, the Rolex store is empty, they stole like $2.4 million in Rolexes. Other police sources drew attention to the extent of the damage and the arrests that were made. Before I carry on and clarify what actually happened, let's talk about the looting in general for a second because I didn't speak about it in my last video on the topic. In my opinion, you can't pin the looting on George Floyd protesters. Yes, it's happened while protests have been going on and a few might have been involved, but most looters are just taking advantage of the situation. Now, I don't condone the looting, but we're in a situation where people have years of pent up anger and frustration. Once certain marks are overstepped, it gives rise to a situation in which some of these people are just going to react however they want. Whether these reactions are right or wrong, I just don't understand why so many people are one, surprised, and number two, more disgusted at the looting than they are what's actually happening in the world. But anyway, let's get back to the main story. So a day or two after the $2.4 million Rolex looting videos went viral, the truth came out. The store in question wasn't a Rolex store, it was a Watches of Switzerland boutique, but more importantly, store representatives reported that nothing was stolen and that the damage was minimal. On top of that, Watches of Switzerland's Executive Vice President David Hurley came out strongly against the stories and the way that they're being used. He wrote, It's unfortunate that at a time like this, certain media outlets have been perpetuating a false narrative regarding the incident that occurred. He goes on to say that the damage to the store was minimal, no products were on display and that absolutely no watches were stolen. So to summarise, the headlines that were originally circulating weren't true, no one knows where the police got 2.4 million from, the store did get run into but by the looks of it, someone made it their intention to make the situation appear much worse than it was and that's the last thing that we need right now. 